All right, so now we have our basic equation for torque, force times the lever arm. What happens if it is not at a 90 degree angle? In other words, what if our force looked something like this, okay? Now, yes, you could do this with components, okay? The way they set up the problems, they expect you to be able to calculate what's called the lever arm. So there's an easy way to get to the answer on torque problems, and there's a tough way, okay? Well, let's say I pushed like this on the plank. Here's the pivot point and set up. If I push on the, uh, the plank like that, is it going to cause it to rotate? No. So if I, push, if I push in the x direction, okay, if I push in the x direction, it won't cause it to rotate. So what part of the force do we care about here? The y. The y part of the force causes it to rotate. So yes, you can find the y component of this force and multiply by this distance. That is the equivalent of what I'm about to show you. Does everybody understand conceptually why the y component times this would be, would be force times lever arm. Is that okay there, buddy? Okay. Now, here are the rules, okay? Step one, but the thing is they don't set the problems up to be done like that. They, they expect you to do it the other way so it's easier the way I'm about to show you, usually, okay? Step one, you extend the line, extend the line through the force, okay? What does that mean? You guys all see I have a force on here, right, on my picture? I'm going to extend the line in both directions, and I'm going to make it really long. So there we go. Everybody okay with that? Extend the line through the force. Okay, that's step one. Step two, you will drop a perpendicular, perpendicular line from the pivot point, from the pivot point to the line you made in step one. So the line from step one, okay? So what does that mean? Where is it able to pivot about? Right here, okay? So I'm gonna drop a line that will meet up with this line that is perpendicular, okay? So what will that look like? Well, that should look something like this, where that is a 90 degree angle, okay? Now what I like to do is, sometimes I redraw this, so I would make it look like this. I'd redraw my plank, I'd put my pivot point, and I would put my force, those mean the same thing, and then I extend my line. I like to redraw mine, you can put it right on the picture though if you want, okay? And now I drop a perpendicular, meaning I draw a line from this point to this point so that they meet at a 90 degree angle, perpendicular 90 degree angle. So I do that, so that that, whoops, so that that is a 90 degree angle right there, okay? That then becomes the lever arm. That is L. And now you take the entire force, this is step three to calculate the torque, you take the entire force and you multiply by the lever arm to get torque. So do you have to worry about components? No. What are you kind of doing here? You're kind of finding the part of the length that is perpendicular to the force, right? That's what you're doing. So it's kind of like you're finding, it's like you're almost like you're rotating your axis and you're finding components of the lengths, okay? It's the same idea as what we talked about earlier. It's just that they assume you're going to do it this way, okay? Questions on the steps? All right, let's do some sample problems. And I'm going to stop recording because that's the part that I need to put up.